Okay. Can you see this on my nose? Hmm? Right here. Do this bed bug bite on my nose? Where's another one? No, it's over here. There, do you see that red mark right there? Those are from over a week ago. Scratching them? I can't help it. My hands? Still. They itch like crazy. My wrists are itching. I see still. These are new from last night. This means at least another six days worth of itching. This one on my nose, at least a week ago. Now look what it's done. Glad I have makeup that covers it up. Sorry I don't look so great this morning, but here I am at the VA. I forgot to do my labs the other day when I came in because I'm trying to find a place to live. And I talked to the social worker and I was here for a long time and then I left without doing them, so I came back today to do those. While I was here, I saw the paper where they're trying to link the fires that were set on the police cars with the murder of the police officer that happened. Now, I've already stated that I believe that they're going to declare martial law and they're turning Seattle into the new capital of the United States. I believe, and it is just my opinion, that they're willing to to kill anybody in order to get what they want. They can kill one of their own and set somebody else up and say that they did it. That's not that difficult. They are murderers, assassins. Don't you understand that the government are assassins? They're trained assassins. It's not about feelings to them. They'll kill anybody. They swore an oath to their assassins, even if that means killing one of their own, and then setting up somebody else and saying that they did it, because as soon as they arrest somebody for this, they're going to say, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And yesterday, I believe, I said, the trainee said, she sensed danger. She sensed danger? Or did she see the guns being raised? That's two different things. Guns duck. That's one thing. Sensing danger? What is that? A woman's intuition? Excuse me? That makes no sense. Who is this trainee? Where did she come from that she can sense danger? Anyway. I got to scoop today at the VA that they have raised the age limit to join the military to 52. You can now re-enlist at 52 instead of 40. How many veterans right now are going to jump on that because there's a $40,000 incentive to do so? $20,000 up front, $20,000 if you make it back from the war. A lot of people are suffering right now. Is that only for veterans or is that for anybody? They raised the age limit to join the military. As soon as they're done with that and they've gotten as many people to join as they can, veterans, you're next. 50% or less disability, you are getting ready to be drafted. Seattle will be the new capital of the United States. All the naysayers, no, 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 that'll never happen. Never, 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 never. But I know what I saw. I know what I've been researching. I am not an imbecile. I'm highly intelligent, trained in warfare, trained to do recons, swore an oath against domestic terrorism for the rest of my life, not for as long as I was getting paid. Swore an oath to the God that created me that I would do what needed to be done in order to save the world against killing each other in anger and animosity and envy and jealousy and global warming and plastic and cancer. 
People play with guns because they think it's fun. Target shooting. Next step, killing. What about all the people come, who come back from all those other wars with PTSD? Have we learned nothing? Nothing. You think we're going to just nuke Afghanistan or Iraq if suicide bombers come here? You think that sending a nuclear bomb to their countries is going to prevent the terrorists who are already here ready to torture us? And we don't know where they are? How do we know it's not our own government? How do we know that they haven't done this for world domination? We don't know. We believe what they say. Everybody knows the news lies. Everybody knows the government lies. But we continue to want to believe insanity. We're doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. How long, people, will you continue to do what you're doing? How long will we continue to let these people play Monopoly with our trees? How long are we going to cut down our trees and make newspapers and books to satisfy your lust? They are going to turn off our electricity and our water. A lot of the markings, a lot of all this work that you see is them laying down their own communication. That's why they're in and out within a couple of days. That's what they're doing. They're putting in pipelines for their own water and they're putting in communication systems. When ours goes out, they aren't going to suffer. We are. And if you think you're going to run down to the nearest water fountain, wrong. If you think you're going to run down to the nearest store, wrong. I talked to someone who got it from a very reliable source. Martial law, two to four months. Months. Two to four months. This is escalating. The people at the beginning of World War I didn't believe either. At the beginning of World War II didn't believe either. Korean War didn't believe either. I could go on and on and on about all the people who didn't believe, but by the time it comes down and they do believe, it's too late. Right now is the time for a revolution. Listen to me. Please listen to me. I don't want to suffer. I don't want you to suffer. I don't want them to come in with martial law and come running into our buildings, slam open our doors, and grab us with us going, what, what, what did I do, what did I do? Trying to resist, pepper spraying, and beating us, and if you think they won't, you are wrong. Yes, they will, and they are going to. Listen to me, and help me. I'm in Seattle, Washington. I want to be the new mayor of the city. I want the people to follow me. And when you do, I will make the nonprofits give me their money. And I'm going to pay off all your debt, all your child support, all your credit cards, all your mortgages. I'm the wizard. And I'm going to create a wonderland for everybody that's going to be so fun. Everybody's coming. I'm going to take care of the homeless people. They're going to work for me. The test of a true tourist trap. They had so much fun, they spent all their money. And now they have to work for you because they can't leave. Come on, people. Help me do this. We will create commerce. We will create a place where there will be no more guns, no more tears. I'm not waiting for Jesus to come and do it. I'm making an alternative plan. I am not going to sit around like all the religious people, and say, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Why would I wait for a figment of everybody's imagination to do something? Why would I wait? If he comes, great. But at least I'm not going to be caught without a plan. Come to me. God sent me. I have a plan to save the entire world and to feed all all the hungry, hopeless, helpless people. We're going to clean out the streams. We're going to clean up the city. We're going to compost everything. Choose me.
Sassy Grace to be the new mayor of Seattle. March to Seattle and come help me. We can do it together.